Number 28, the reaction of 50 mils of acid and 50 mils of base described in example 5.5 increase the temperature of the solution by 6.9 degrees Celsius. How much would the temperature have increased if 100 mils of acid and 100 mils of base have been used in the same calorimeter starting at the same temperature of 20.0 degrees Celsius and then explain your answer. Okay. Now, for this, I went back and I looked at example 5.5 just to see the, the information that we need. Now, for solution chemistry, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter what the acid and what the base is. The only thing is, you know, what is how much you're adding of it. So what I gathered was that the amount of heat that was produced in this example 5.5 was 2.9 times 10 to the third joules. And they did assume that this, the, a heat, uh, the specific heat of the solution was acting as water. So it was 4.184. So if they're saying that it's the same calorimeter, I'm assuming that they're saying that we're going to keep this Q the same. They didn't really specify that in this question. So I'm going to take this as saying, if we had the same amount of heat, what's going on with the temperature change. How much would it would have increased if we change the mass, but we kept the heat the same. Okay. So let's figure that out. Solution chemistry, right? It's just basically this formula, just Q equals MS Delta T. The only thing for solutions is that your mass is the total mass of what you're adding in your solution. So before when we had 50 mils of acid and 50 mils of base, the total mass was 100 mils, right? And 100 mils equals 100 grams because they were assuming that we're using the density of water one gram per milliliter. We're gonna do the same thing here as well. So in this case, the mass would be 100 grams of the acid plus the 100 mils of the base, right? Or in this case, it would be grams of the base. Once again, we are assuming that the density would be one gram per mil. So whatever the amount of mils that we have is the same amount of grams that we have. Now we're going to be taking the specific heat of water, which was from 5.5. So this would be 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. If we're keeping the same calorimeter, I'm assuming that it's going to be the same amount of heat that was produced. So this number would be the same. Oop, that's not negative three, that's just three. And now for the delta T, delta T is final minus initial. In this case, they said, how much would the temperature have increased if we started at the same temp? So I don't know what that final temp is. All I know is that it's going to increase and then my initial temp was 22.0. Now I have everything, so let's write out our formula with the numbers in it. 2.9 times 10 to the third. I don't usually write the units when I'm doing the math because I know that uh, I have all the right units. So this is equal to 200, 100 plus 100 is 200, 4.184, and then now I'm gonna do X minus the 22.0. Multiply these two numbers together, right? So I'm going to do the 200 times 4.184. Let's see. 4.184 times 200. I get 836.8. And now here comes everybody's favorite part of algebra. When you have multiple things going on in parentheses and then you have a number outside of it, you got to distribute, you got to play fair. So you got to multiply that number by the X and by the negative 22. So 2.9 times 10 to the third equals 836.8 X minus whatever 836.8 times 22, right? Yeah. Big number, don't be afraid. 
one eight oh no one eight four zero nine point six we want to get x by itself so throw this number over to the to the other side by addition right because this was minus so i got to add okay 18409.6 this cancels out and now let's see 836.8x and then what's this 2.9 times 10 to the third plus that number i get 21309.6 oops sorry about that guys if you heard that little bump just getting so ex so excited it's almost the end 836.8 divide by 836.8 cancel that out and then x which remember was the x over here that was the final temp right so now we're gonna see uh how much it raised by let's see uh two one three so that number divided by eight 36.8 and you get 25 point uh we'll say 25.5 degrees celsius and that is your answer there you go so how much would the temperature would have increased if 100 mils of acid uh, and 100 mils of base were added together. So now, just read between the line, guys. They're saying how much would the temperature have increased? So they're really looking for the delta T. They don't care about what the final temperature is. They want to know how much it increased. So if it was 22.0 degrees Celsius, right? Maybe I'll just do it like this. So if it was 22.0 degrees Celsius and the final was 25.5 degrees Celsius, how much was the increase? I'll just subtract the two of them. So 25.5 minus 22, I get 3.5 of a degree Celsius increase. And that is what they're looking for. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button and yeah, tell your friends. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. I will see you in the next lesson. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.